hey lovelies what's up welcome back to another video so in today's video obviously by the title we are going to be making stencils so first things first of course you need your stencil machine this one is from amazon um i'll have the links to everything down below and then you're going to need some stencil paper also from amazon and um the first thing you want to do is take this stencil paper you want to go ahead and flip back the first two sheets of paper now the first sheet the yellow sheet is normally used for when you're manually making your stencils like drawing it out by hand you would press on that sheet and it will get the ink sheet that's behind it to transfer onto the last sheet now this third sheet that we're ripping out right now is just a protected layer as you can see it's like stained blue so they just put that in there to stop the ink from bleeding onto the actual transfer sheet and now that we have all that out the way, you can just go ahead and take the last two sheets and make sure that the ink sheet is facing down because that's the way you want to insert it into the machine. So the next thing I'm going to do is open up my machine and then find the opening where the paper goes, which is in the back of the machine. And you guys can just see where I'm putting it at because I can't even, I don't even know what to say about where that is. Um, but yeah you just put your paper in and make sure that the blue sheet is on the bottom and the white sheet is on top and then once you have that in there you just close your machine up and make sure that it's completely closed and you will know when it's closed if it snaps if it doesn't snap make sure you make it snap and then these are the settings that i have my machine on i always have it on these settings it's just practical and it's just more easy that way because i'll forget that i need to have the mirror button on that's very important Especially when you're printing out words like I am so I'm going to flip over my paper and then insert it into the front of the machine and then it's gonna like you're gonna feel you're gonna know when it's all the way in there it'll like suck it in and then like make a beeping noise so when that's in there you just want to go ahead and make sure that your paper is straight and then you're gonna press the blue copy button and then your stencil will be transferring and then you'll just see it start to come out on the back like you see right now and i love this machine so much it's like really time efficient like if you're a tattoo artist and you're doing multiple people a day this will save you so much time save your hands for the actual tattoo and yeah it will come out perfectly every time as long as you make sure the paper is inserted correctly and all that stuff it'll come out perfect every time you don't have to stress it's in two seconds you'll have your stencil so this is how it came out and yeah all the stuff will be listed in the description box down below if you're interested in this machine the paper that i'm using all that good stuff so then that's that on that and now we can get into the how to apply your stencil first thing you want to do is prep the skin i'm using alcohol just regular rubbing alcohol i think i'm using like the strongest one like 99 percent or 90 whatever is the highest one that's what the one i like to use and i'm just going to wipe it down the area that i'm going to apply the stencil you want to make sure that whole area is shaved like it doesn't even matter how much you think you're shaped like just shave the whole entire area because you want your stencil to apply as smoothly as possible and the hair will definitely alter the way your stencil adheres to the skin So after the area is all nice and clean and smooth, you're going to go ahead and wipe it down with some alcohol again. And then to apply the stencil, I'm using stencil stuff. This is my favorite stuff like ever for stencils. I haven't even tried anything else, but yeah, this, this does it for me. So if you're interested, it will also be in the description box down below. So you don't need a whole lot of it, but you do need enough to cover the whole area so that you're not like missing parts of the stencil. And the way I like to do it is I just rub it into the skin until it's like a tacky consistency. And that's when I know that the stencil is going to be on there and it's not going to bleed around and like make a whole mess of the stencil. So um, once it's nice and, you know, absorbed into the skin to a point where it's a tacky feeling, place the stencil and make sure that your client is happy with it before you actually go ahead and apply pressure. So once you feel like you're good to go, just peel it up and then you'll have your beautiful stencil ready to go. Don't immediately start tattooing. You want to wait till it dries down so that it doesn't move when you're wiping. And then yeah, you're good to go. 
that is how you make and apply a stencil I really hope this video was of some help to you guys. If it wasn't, let me know in the comments what you would like to know that I missed out on or I didn't mention in the video. If you wanna see this full video of me tattooing this piece, let me know in the comments too and give this video a thumbs up so I know that you guys wanna see it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one.